Hello, today I'm going to show you three different ways to create dotted line letters. The simplest way is to use the dashed line function from the stroke panel. Select the type tool and type any letter you wish. With the letter selected, go to Object and select Expand. Go to Object again and choose Ungroup All. The Layers panel shows it as a compound path. Let's swap the fill and the stroke. Next open the stroke panel and increase the stroke weight. If you wish, apply a different color. Select the dashed line function and set the cap to round cap. Next change the dash to zero. Click on the gap window and set the gap to about 17 points. We can tweak it later if necessary. Now single click on the artboard. You will notice that everything appears to vanish. This is an illustrator glitch that I hope gets resolved soon. If you run into this problem, first select the letter, next click on the second dash window and type any number. Now click on the first gap window and set the number to its previous value. Finally, highlight everything in the second dash window and delete it. Now click back on the first gap window to activate it and everything should be back to normal. If you wish to make any adjustments, first select the letter and then adjust the gap and the stroke weight. Also, be sure that the Align Dashes to Corners and Path Ends option is enabled. In the second example, I will show you how to create dotted line letters using the Objects on Path tool. This option works well for curvy letters, but struggles with sharp corners. With the letter selected, go to Object, Expand, and Object, Ungroup All. Let's swap the fill and the stroke, click away to deselect, select a different color, bring the fill to the front and using the ellipse tool create a small circle. Now create many copies. Next we will refine the path of this letter. To do this, select the Smooth tool and then, while holding down the Ctrl key, select the letter. Now adjust the slider to create a smooth path. Next, select all circles and then go to the Objects on Path tool. You will notice that we can't click on the path. Using the Selection tool, click away to deselect. This is still a compound path and to use the Objects on Path tool, we first need to release it. With the shape still selected, go to Object, Compound Path and choose Release. Now this is no longer a compound path. Let's select our circles again, then go to the Objects on Path tool and click on the path. To adjust the density of dots, Double click on one of the circles to open the isolation mode. Now single click on it. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl V several times to make additional copies. While still in isolation mode, select one of the circles. Now go to Select, Same, Fill Color and choose a different color. With the dots still selected, go to Object, Transform, Transform Each, be sure the chain link is activated and change the scale value to increase or decrease the size. To hide the path, use the Direct Selection tool, select the path and change the stroke to None. The third way to create dotted line letters is by using the Blend tool. Let's type another letter and like we did before, go to Object, Expand and Object, Ungroup All. 
Swap the fill in the stroke, click away to deselect, change the fill to a different color and create a small circle. Let's duplicate it and change its color. Select both circles and then double click on the blend tool to open the options window. Set the spacing to specified steps and increase the value. We can always adjust it later. Now click on this anchor point and then on this one to create a blend. This is also a compound path that we need to release first. With the shape selected, go to Object, Compound Path and choose Release. Select the shape and select the blend, then go to Object, Blend and select Replace Spine. To adjust the density of the dots, double click on the Blend tool. And now increase the spacing value. You will notice some gaps. To correct this, use the scissors tool and click on one of the anchor points. Next, select the Add Anchor Point tool and click on the path where there is a large gap. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.